President Trump tweeted just moments ago, Iran never won a war, but never lost a negotiation. This is in addition to several retweets he's also put out. Iranian General Qasem Soleimani is described as a charismatic, tactical genius who was beloved by his soldiers for being so ruthless. He is generally credited with killing hundreds of U.S. troops. For that, he'd long been a target. And yesterday, the U.S. took advantage of an opportunity at the Baghdad airport to take him out. Reaction has been swift from Iran, vowing vengeance. The Pentagon confirming President Trump ordered a rocket strike in Iraq that killed Qasem Soleimani, the top Iranian military leader. According to a Pentagon statement, the U.S. took decisive defensive action to protect U.S. personnel abroad by killing Soleimani. President Trump's comment, tweeting an image of the American flag. Concern in the international security community is over how the operation was conducted and its potential to further destabilize the region. At home, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy tweeting, Soleimani was an enemy of the United States. The question is this, did America just assassinate without any congressional authorization the second most powerful person in Iran, knowingly setting off a potential massive regional war? One reason we don't generally assassinate foreign political officials is the belief that such action will get more, not less, Americans killed. Hassan Rouhani, president of Iran, tweeting, the great nation of Iran will take revenge for this heinous crime. At home, Democrats have expressed concern about legalities of the strike, even as Republicans heaped praise on Trump. Lindsey Graham tweeting, I appreciate President Donald Trump's bold action against Iranian aggression to the Iranian government. If you want more, you will get more. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo tweeting a video of some Iraqis seen celebrating in the streets. The condemnation from Iran, though, swift. The foreign minister saying the attack was, quote, extremely dangerous and a foolish escalation and that the U.S. bears responsibility for all consequences. OK, the latest development is that Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has already appointed a replacement for Soleimani. He is a general who worked closely with him for years, Khamenei vowing to avenge Soleimani's death, who he has already called a martyr.